News. Well, I'm joined now by Elizabeth Robb. Um, she's a uh, chief executive of the Florence Nightingale Foundation. That's part of the alliance that's been referred to earlier. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Could it be clear, first of all, are there any sort of rules and regulations you can point at that talk about this ratio between patients and the number of nurses? There aren't currently any rules and regulations, although we do have recommended levels for children's services, for intensive care units and for maternity. And what we're wanting is that there is a clear fundamental standard for elderly patients on which, who are the majority of patients on our general wards. And this one in eight figure, I mean, there might be those who say that, that even that sounds rather high, frankly. Well, we go to pains to say that this is not a minimum standard. It's a fundamental standard which should never be breached because we know from the research evidence that over one registered nurse to eight patients, there is significant risk of harm. And uh, so th this figure, uh, uh, one in eight, how, how do you come by that? Is, is it as a result of a lot of research? Is it just people saying, well, this is the way it's always been or, or the way it used to be and it should be again? It's comprehensive research. There's been a lot of research since um, 1999, but this is particularly a very large study that was done on English hospitals using 31 hospitals and 406 wards. And uh, are the standards higher in other parts of the UK? I'm thinking of Scotland, Wales, this is specifically about England you're talking here. Is, this, there, is there a sort of gold standard somewhere else that you would like to look to? Well, there are other parts of the world where they have set minimum standards that have to be complied with in Australia and two states in America. I mean, we are clear that it is sensible for every hospital to work out the staffing levels required on the basis of the patients they have there. That is totally understood, but at the moment there are a percentage of wards that are not meeting this fundamental standard. So we feel that it needs to be underpinned to be clear that if there are more than eight patients per registered nurse, it should be reported, investigated and dealt with. Is this a situation that has been getting, uh, in your view, worse? In other words, that ratio has been getting bigger and bigger? Or, or have we made progress the other way in recent times? I think it's clear we have made some progress by virtue of the fact that the majority of wards do meet this standard. But there are still some that don't, and we feel in the interests of patient safety and to keep our patients from harm, that it's absolutely vital that we understand that there is a figure that we should not breach. And I, I heard the expression that nurses themselves sort of face burnout, I think it's called. This is presumably they have more than eight, they're, they're, they're rushing around and can't tend. We hear so much about people not being looked after as well as they should be. But that's a function of this figure rising and rising. Well, absolutely, to an extent, if we are to give safe, compassionate care, then clearly the levels need to be higher than that. What we've quoted there is the figure at which we know there's significant risk of harm. And this, this appointment of a chief inspector of hospitals, do you, do you look to that person to, to help, uh, help with your case? Absolutely, because any regulator or inspector could use this standard to go into any ward in the country and say, is there eight patients to each registered nurse? I.e., if you had a 24-bedded ward, are there three registered nurses in, on duty and a nurse in charge, supported by at least three or four healthcare assistants. Elizabeth Robb, we're very grateful to you. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed.